Hello. I'm going to be taking you through Anovate's Workforce and Talent Acquisition Accelerator. So we can start at the home page here. And this app is pretty much divided into four separate components, creating and revising requisitions, those requisitions moving through the approval process, saving plans of requisitions, and then the reports homepage where requisition information and actual workforce, current workforce information uh, is blended together. So we can start with creating and revising recs. So you'll see right here is where we can generate new recs. And those new recs will appear in our sandbox uh, field below. So you can see we already have a couple here and they show us the status and whether they have all necessary information. And each rec, we started with a couple of uh, components that are generally needed, especially for greenhouse or other workforce acquisition applications. So we have role name, department, sub department, et cetera, et cetera. And also financial information, so salary, commission, salary benchmarks and then the actual opening and closing dates for those recs. So we can either create one completely from scratch or we can copy uh, any of the existing recs and all of this component information will be copied into that new rec. So you don't have to create a whole new requisition for a standard rec that you have. You can also create more than one. You can create up to 300. So we can start with one. We can just make it a brand new rec. And you can see it just appeared right here, Rec 82, and we can fill in the information. So for a few of these, you can see the approval, our new rec needs approval. That means it just started, hasn't gone through the approval process. A lot of information will probably need to be added to the rec. The next stage will be revisions actually need that approval. So it will appear on the first approval page. Once it's gone through the approval process, it will move to pending addition to greenhouse. So that means that the approval has been given, it has all the necessary fields. And once the integration runs, that rec will be live in greenhouse. And once it is live, it will appear as that. For each rec, you can see, we can see which fields are missing, if it's a necessary field. And we'll also show if either department, we have two standard departments, human resources and finance, if I, either of those approvals have left comments, they'll appear here. And whoever's creating the recs, if it's a separate uh, department, they can look at those and change the recs as needed. So this is our sandbox plan, and that compares to this latest approved plan. You can see here, a lot of the recs are already open in greenhouse. And if we change something in the sandbox plan, it won't change in the actual latest approved plan until those changes are approved. So this is a handy way to compare and contrast what differences have been made between the new plan and the most recently approved plan. And here are the different statuses. The rec, most of the time it's gonna be only an ANA plan. And then once the integration runs, it'll be within both ANA plan and greenhouse. So greenhouse is actually uh, back integrated into ANA plan. So we're taking information on when it's closed and why it's closed, and it will appear in here. So from here, we'll go to the approval homepage and we have each department has its own approval. You can see HR doesn't have anything to approve right now. So we'll go to finance. And finance has a few that are approved. So you can see these recs have all the necessary information. They already have HR approval and we just need to give this final approval. So I can select each rec individually or if they all look good, I can say approve all. And this will approve all recs currently waiting for finance approval. Instead, we'll just add one more. Here is where finance can actually make comments that will appear attached to the individual recs. You can see right now it's for rec three. 
and it leaves them for Rec 82. And then this is the latest approved plan in the sandbox plan just for future reference. So now that these have been given approval, we'll limit it just to the one I just selected. I'm going to push the approved revisions to the approved plan. And those recs are now going to be live in the input release to Greenhouse. So let's see if I can find that one. We can select rec 55 and now 53 rather. And now that it's been selected, the next time the integration runs, rec 53 will be live in Greenhouse. So that's the life cycle of a rec. So you can see we created it, filled in any necessary information, and then it went through the approval process. Once it's been approved, all the, that information gets pushed into Greenhouse as soon as the integration runs. The next component is saving plans. So we can go here. And this is taking just the latest approved plan. So all recs that have been approved, we'll see them here. And we'll see their status. But this is mainly for generating forecast information or just snapshots of information. So I can input the name of the save plan. We're going to name it Q3. And go ahead and save that plan. Now, when I go over here where I can compare different save plans, right now it's on latest approved plan. I can compare pick the one that I just created, demo save plan Q3. Here's all this information. It should be identical to the latest approved plan just because it's the same information. But if I were to look at demo save plan number two, this information will be different based on whenever it was saved. So we can go back to our home page and finally go through the reports. So here are four standard reports based on personnel movement within the organization, high reports, closed recs, um, rec summary de by department, and then actually we have a final one, final headcount forecast, which uh, I'll show last. Personnel movement, this is just taking information uh, based on employees. If they've moved, it will appear here. So as soon as we have employees in uh, departments, when they've been hired, terminated, transferred, based on that information and the day of, that information will flow here. So you can look at how many new hires you had in technology or how many new hires you had in North America. And you can also filter it to just see certain departments or certain movements. The hire report actually looks at new hires so if someone has a start date based on uh, any employee headcount app that you're using, we integrate with that. And so I'm looking at just from these, between these dates for my report and only in revenue, you can see for the dummy information that I've input, there's only seven new hires all in revenue during this time period. Recs closed, we'll go back to our recs information and look at how many recs have been closed in Greenhouse uh, within this time period. So you can see within this time period for our uh, make believe recs that we have, we've only closed one in revenue in this period. This is a similar report. So this is just rec summaries by department. So if we're only looking at revenue, once again, we can see these are the two recs that have been within uh, revenue and their status, most importantly. We can also see different reasons for the recs uh, status here based on month. Finally, for final headcount, this is going to show us uh, existing headcount. So these are currently only have seven employees in the revenue department in our fake organization. And then once we're hiring new people based on those recs, 
they'll appear in this forecasted new headcount. And that will additionally, uh, so you'll be able to see your total headcount, forecasted headcount based on your existing employees and those forecasted new employees. And that's it. So thanks for watching.